we have another debut today. This is Graham Stevens. Everybody. Graham is on today for King Arthur. Yes. Because um, James had some contractual dates. So how has it been your first time? It was great. I started um, started off with a bang with a with a, a two show day and the adrenaline and everything else. It was just great. My parents came and friends oh, no, and other did. family and. It was great. It was really special. <laughs> so what do you think, as someone that, you cover three roles? Four. Four roles. What roles? Tell everyone what uh, roles. King Arthur, Galahad, Bedivere, and uh, Lancelot. And who, which one is the hardest out of all of them? The hardest? I, um, probably uh, Lancelot for me, um, uh, because it has all that improv, and we have some excellent, excellent comedians in this company, and I, I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> um, anything else you want to say quickly, because I know we're at places, to people that uh, need advice about understudying or standing by? Like, what is the thing that... Oh, my God. Just just work hard, and it's it's easy. It ends up being easy when it's a show that you really love. I love this. I've loved Money Python since I was a kid, so this is like a dream come true. So, so just get cast in your dream show, basically. Hi, I'm with Russ Romano, and this is the, the outfit, outfit of, of the, the week. week. Okay, Russ, tell us what you are wearing today. So we're going to start off at the top. The blazer is from Paul Frederick. The bow tie and the pocket square are from Fine and Dandy here in New York City. Uh, the shirt is Charles Turwitt. The uh, garnet cufflinks Ooh. are from Persian Shop. The slacks are from Mardana here in New York City. Socks from Amazon. Shoes are from Aldo here in New York City. And, and that's, that's the look of the week. Okay, Graham. So yes. we're in Act Two. Yes, Gesundheit. And you have a little break now. Um, I wanted to ask you a few questions. So, what has been the hardest show that you've had to cover some roles on? The hardest show was uh, Peter and the Starcatcher about 10 years ago. I covered really? five parts. It was like being a, a, a swing in the chorus. You just had. It was, it was a difference of inches between each character and all this wonderful choreography. Um, but it was also just so rewarding because it was such a beautiful show. But that was, yeah, that was definitely the hardest. Which part are you most excited about doing next? Next? Um, I'm probably most excited about doing Galahad next. Um, I, they're doing the Herbert scene right now, and it's one of my favorites from the movie. For Spamalot, it's a lot easier for me because I've lived with the, the movie for such a long time. Um, and so, and because I've been such a Monty Python nerd, I have been doing these sketches in my head Aww. and sort of like developing my own version of it. But okay. that's all you, that's all you need to do, that's, your version of it, you know? That's it. Everything you're saying is great. And yeah. have a great rest of your act too! Thank you! I'm, I'm so proud of you. You're oh just an awesome King Arthur and the audiences love you. Thank you. Okay, this is a game called... What do I look like I do for a living? Let's play. Jamie, what do you think I look like I do for a living? You look like you're a rich housewife from Jersey. I'm a what? A rich housewife from Jersey. Okay, let's ask more people. What do you think I look like I do for a living? Look at my outfit. Leather pant, uh, leopard pants, black boots, white, top knot. What do I look like? What do I do for a living? I think you sell multi-million dollar apartments that no one will ever buy. Amazing. What do I, Charlie, what do I look like I do for a living? What do I look like I do for a living? I'm Mrs. Iglesias. I'm Mrs. Iglesias. This is what, Iglesias. You're, this is what you're doing right now. <laughs> Who are you? What do you think I look like I do for a living? <laughs> oh no. Look you look like you don't do anything for a living. <laughs> what, do, what do I, what do you think I do for a living? If you saw me walking down the street. You have all the money in the world. You're an influencer. Do I look rich? Do I look poor? Do I look rich. unhinged? Real housewife. Real that, housewife. That's why I'm like, you don't work. Someone I don't work. works for you. Okay. But I'm not, I look like I'm, I, I have money. All of the money. <laughs> Hi. Girl. What's up? Look at my outfit. What do you think I do for a living? I don't know. I would say maybe like a sports writer. A sports writer with yeah. leopard pants? Yeah. Like, cause you'd be like cool, but like also really pretty in like the boys club. What do I look like I do for a living? Ooh. Celebrity. Wow. No, like you saw me walking down the street. Who's that? What does she do? New Jersey Housewives. Think your family owns like a wonderful so deli. She works hard for the money, whatever it is. true. I can confirm that to be true. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna see if people can guess what I'm dressed as. What do I do? You pass out the flyers for Yay! Chicago in Times Square, obviously. What do I do for a living? Your Roxy Red Tights. No? Yeah, in Times Square. Yes! Yeah! Oh my god. Oh! She's running auditions for the new search for the new Val McCauley. Real estate, real estate. Real estate. Real you want to know Chicago? Oh Jury Summit. 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 Jury jobs in New York City. I gave out flyers in Times Square for Sideman, when Sideman was on Broadway. That's how long ago that was. It was a very good job. So I tip my hat to everybody who is giving flyers outside, giving out flyers in Times Square, on Broadway, in the rain, in the cold, in the heat. It is not an easy job, so I tip my hat to you. Hi, my name is Claire. I'm a physical therapist here with Spamala. And Claire is going to help me with my knee. So I have to wear five inch heels and the knee is, yeah, this is. Like you think PT is gonna be f fun and this, <laughs> there's nothing about this that is Fun. Someone downstairs is having a blast. <laughs> we have PT twice a week. Sometimes we do different things. Sometimes we, you know, we need neck or knees or feet. I would have expected uh, with wearing heels, five inch heels during a show, to have a kind of Achilles type injury or at least an issue through this oh area. Oh my God. Which is exactly where she's having a lot of pain and tension right here. Holy um, crap. <laughs> And it's always good when like the patient experience matches what it feels like under my hand. I mean, like we're both having the same, this feels like it would feel terrible under my hand. It is. She's not having a good time. It's terrible. Um, but ultimately like because it matches, like we'll, we'll get somewhere good with this, so. When I say it feels like a hot knife pushing in to my, and is that my Achilles? Yeah. And like the muscles that go to it. Oh, so if, if you weren't doing this terrible thing to me, <laughs> that I possibly could get injured. Yeah, over because time. The, the Achilles would just get tighter and tighter and tighter as you go, and maybe not do its job as well, et cetera. Oh so we want it to function in tip top shape so that you can do your thing in your five inch heels. See, it's not glamorous, everybody. <laughs> no pain, no game, baby. <laughs> the five inch heels make you look fierce, though, I gotta say, yeah. even though this is. Absolute <laughs> this, is the price. this is Sue Pelkover. Sue runs the spot in the in the booth. And Sue and I have a bit every <laughs> night when I come out in the second act and I do whatever happened to my part, I go, Sue! And she takes the spotlight and puts it off center. And it's a and it's a joke, so it's all timed. Hi, James. <laughs> I tried to get a bit with the spotlight people, but they you said too? no. Oh, they said, why? They said because it was just yours. They said there's just there's only one queen. There's only one queen in this Stop show. Stop it! And yes. it's right here, and she deserves it. There's only she one queen. It? But yeah. she's awesome. <laughs> well, well, speak of the devil. We were talking about this in PT today. Oh, the look five at the five-inch heels. heels. This is what's possibly you mean, could. You mean the one I said don't pick the five-inch heels, and you were like, you know what, Jamie? I'm I just... look amazing. <laughs> Hello. Right on time, uh, sir. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm John Bryant, and I am the head props on the show. Yay! And John's funny. going to talk to us and maybe show us a few of his favorite things and what he does in the show. What's the hardest thing you have to deal with in the show? I would say probably the diorama. What is the diorama? So the diorama? I'm in the show and I don't know what this is. So the diorama is um, a big fabric backdrop that allows... Wait, I just saw it. It's this roll Oh, it's here. right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So the, the piece of fabric is probably uh, six by 30 feet mm -hmm. long. 
um, and all of the ensemble cast members, they help drape it across the stage to help show uh, passage of passage time, of time yeah. through landscapes. Um, and it's pro the hardest thing about it is really just the amount of people that have to hold on to it and for it to go out across the stage in a clean, <laughs> appropriate manner. <laughs> Have you guys had problems with it ever? It always seems to go off. It always well. seems to go off fairly easily. It took us during tech a little bit to figure out how to get people uh, to their places to hold on to the fabric is what nice. really got us the, the struggle. Um, and so now we figured out um, the, the traffic off stage to get people where they need to be while still being able to hold it tight and uh, stretched across the stage. How do you decide where everything goes? Everything is super organized back here. It has to be. So how do you decide that? So a lot of that is um, decided by stage management as well as props. And um, the fact that like they help us figure out what plays more downstage versus what needs to be handed off from upstage where the actors need to be able to access them. Right. So like on this prop shelf, it's pretty simple. A lot of this stuff is all handoffs or the cast comes and gets. So we have like Patsy's billow. Um, and his frying pan for bright side, the tambourines for the for the finale. What makes you good at your job? Um, like I think being observant and uh, with regards to everything that's going on around you. Got it. Being aware of quick changes and people moving around you, going to their own entrances and being spatially aware of that stuff. If someone that's watching this, a young person or whatever, is like, oh man, that's kind of... A job I want to do, How? what would you be your advice? Find yourself a regional theater. Mm -hmm. Find out what really excites you uh, in those departments. Test things. Try to do a different department, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable. And then once you reach your, your place, your home, then try to reach for the next position in that job and try to strive for more. So here we are with some of the incredible front of house ushers. <laughs> at the St. James Theater. I just want to ask you just briefly, um, go ahead and say your names. I'm Leo. Yeah. I'm Casey. I'm Myrna. Margaret. Jasmine. Sam. Cheryl. And there are how many of you usually, like, tonight? 28, I believe. 29. 29. 29. Start and then have to start. Who's been here the longest? How, how many years? 36 years. Oh, what do you find the most challenging thing about being and usher. I think it's the communication with people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's very challenging because yeah. we can also have fun with them, but uh, we can also be in a very stressful situation. It's one of the, what is the one thing that they always say to you all the time? Is that why aren't there more bathrooms? Or the St. James no, does. Elevator. No, we do a good job with the bathrooms here, honestly. Elevator. 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 It's the holiday season. Mm -hmm. Let's just be kind, because we're doing spam a lot. It ain't <laughs> curing anything yes. major. We're just here to have fun. Anything else that you want to say Come or to add? Come to see Leslie, because she's ah, Yes! She's amazing! <laughs> These are our incredible bartenders that take care of us. Look at our gorgeous, special drink menu. Hi, I'm Megan. Megan. Hi, I'm Sierra. Sierra. Hi, I'm Evan. Where do people tip? That's what, as a former server myself, are they tippers? <laughs> yes. yes. They do? Okay, they do. I, I see it's already starting. <laughs> How do you deal with unruly customers? Oh. Ooh. How do you deal? No, kill them with oh. kindness. Yeah, That's what that I do. Is, just wish them well and wish them away. Or do they yes. just complain? Like, what happens? Yes. They do. Yeah. What do they complain about? Not having coffee. And are you enjoying being with us and Spamalot? So, yeah. yeah. so much. So much. Do you ever get to yeah. watch the show a little bit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we hear it. And we know when it's your big song. Uh, they go crazy. Oh, they go crazy. <laughs> Please tip your bartenders. So I, I will do that tonight. All right. Enjoy. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Kara. Kara. Hi, I'm Angela. And this is the incredible Spamalot merchandise booth. Are we selling stuff? Is it oh, always yeah. like You're crazy? So selling stuff. It is every day. It's just a line all the way down. Now, people, are they nice? Are they patient? Are they kind? Are they pushy? For the most part, people are really lovely and patient and kind. But you do every once in a while get someone who's really frustrated for waiting for a long time and things like that. But patience and kindness is the key to that. How what's we your with that. What's your biggest seller? I had a feeling! <laughs>
It's like yeah, a puppet, it right? It is like a puppet. He, rah, yeah, there you go. No, oh, there he is again. There he is. There he is. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm, I'm not trying to be in all these videos, I swear to God. I'm, yes. not, I'm really not trying to be in all these videos. It's not, it's not that I have a problem with cameras and I need to be in front of all of them. It's not, I'm not trying to do that. These, this is about these yeah. beautiful ladies here. I know. Our wonderful merchandise. Get your socks, get your hat, get your, get your socks, your bucks, Christmas. It's all, you know what we are missing though? An ornament. That's we are. What we're missing. But if you throw a chain on Mr. Okay. Rabbit here, yes. he's what like is a this? rabbit. Is this, foot. Like, this is like, this <laughs> is a merchandise hack. Yeah. Thank you so much. House You're is welcome. open and I'm wearing my slippers and my sweatpants. Okay, so we're doing part two of what do I do? Who am I? What do I do? Yes, there's tags hanging out. Oh, she's a hip-hop dancer. Oh, she's a Beyonce backup dancer. She's a shoplifter. She's a shoplifter. She's a shoplifter. They're tagged. Okay. Oh, what do you do? Um, you're what a, did I just she's, do? A, she's like a dancer. Uh, a shoplifter. You, you dance and you use oh, oh, you 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 You're a dancer. You got a hat on the ground. Where am I dancing? Where am I dancing? Time's for it. Where am I dancing? Yes! Yes! I shoplifted you, Panther. What did you say you thought I was? I was. I just thought you were in marketing. With this outfit? Marketing? I'm so glad that this is happening in my my wig press. <laughs> <laughs> but I the people love you. Thank you so much. She's <laughs> like giving me the red hair. She's giving Amelie the red hair. I actually don't know. She's giving me the devil wear. It's Prada. Just oh. she doesn't actually speak English, so she doesn't know what we're saying. Oh, oh, you have to guess who I am. Maybe killed your husband. <laughs> the girl from. Oh. I'm the girl who's everything. See you next week. Wow. <laughs>